Hey, what's up you guys? It's Cash and today I'm bringing you a new YouTube video. It's been a while since I've uploaded on the channel, but I'm excited to be back and be present with everyone and I have a great message for you all today and I hope that you're able to stay throughout the entire video to see what topics are being discussed today. Also, for those who are new to the channel, I hope that you take some time for yourself to review the content that I've created and see if that's something that's interesting to you. And if so, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I'll always be up to date with my latest video. Once again, I wanna say thanks for everyone subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers now, which seems crazy to me. And it may seem like a small milestone, but I don't know, like for me, I'm just really excited that I'm building something here and people can resonate and align with the things that I'm sharing. I just want to thank you all for that. And um, yeah, if you really like the content, share it with a friend, maybe they'll like it as well. So just want to say thank you all for doing that. So before I decide to get into the things that I would like to talk about, I just wanted to check in with my audience and see how is everyone doing. I know we've been up to date with the world news. A lot of us have been dealing with illnesses, whether it be ourselves or our family members. And now with the recent times of tragedies happening across the globe, you know, we've had extended friends and family who are currently suffering and just completely getting put into a different circumstance of life. So for anyone who can relate to that, feel free to share in the comment section. I think right now in the world, a lot of people would like to be heard and have their perspective be seen. And even though that doesn't resolve the situation, but it just makes people feel seen and just feel complete as a human in today's society. So I'll be looking in the comment section and I'll be glad to respond to those who are going through anything. So that brings me to my next talking point, which is in regard to today's video. And I wanted to just discuss with everybody the value of self-worth and no longer compromising yourself. It's easy to get in environments and situations that will condition us to accept less than what we deserve. And today I just wanted to elaborate on this, furthermore, to help people and those who are currently going through these situations to see ways and opportunities to overcome that to get more out of life and instead of settling. So as I was thinking about today's topic, I was wondering like who would this message be for? And truthfully, it can fit for anyone, but I think specifically it fits for those who struggle with setting boundaries for themselves and for anyone who's struggling with seeing the worthiness within themselves, not living up to their full potential. So if that's something that resonates within you, I would gladly appreciate if you could just listen through the entire message today, because I feel like there's a lot of knowledge and insight that can be gained from this, and hopefully a healing opportunity for us all to grow and mature as these days continue to move forward. So as we navigate this together, the first part that we all have to do is to internalize and self-reflect deeply about who we see ourselves to be and who we see ourselves to become. So let's start off with understanding why self-worth is important. Your self-worth is going to be your guide letting you know where you belong in society. Now it's not for society to confirm this, but you have to truly have a grasp on where you see yourself and what you believe yourself to be. And that all stems from the self-worth, that self-confidence that you have about yourself and the abilities that you're capable of. So when we look at our self-worth, a direct correlation of that is having high self-esteem because that self-esteem, when it's at an all-time high, of course, in some situations, it can be seen as cockiness, but sometimes it's just an abundance of confidence extruding from that individual, leading them to the things they believe that they deserve and that they've worked hard for. I'm not encouraging anyone to act out of a sense of entitlement. I'm only encouraging people to move confidently in a respectful space that doesn't overstep the boundaries of others, but still taking claim to the capabilities and strengths that you have to let the world know that you have this within you and you're just proudly sharing it with the world and your environment around you. With having a low self-esteem, it really challenges you to handle adversity because you're already in a fragile state about your self-worth. It also makes it harder to put negative situations into perspective, kind of like the example of having the glass half full or half empty. 
It's just based upon how do you choose to see it. And that's why self-worth is so important for us all. If we really want to be the best version of ourselves, we need to put ourselves in environments that allow us to just bloom and blossom in life where people see the best traits of us the best traits of our personality instead of seeing us in a season that's not really serving to our strengths so now that we have a great understanding of our self-worth and why that matters when you gauge that between high self-esteem and low self-esteem let's talk about what to do when people try to keep you within the box or the mind frame that they see you within basically setting limits on what your growth can actually be in those moments where someone is trying to limit your self-worth, you need to ask yourself the question, who is this individual and what is their relationship to me? I think in a lot of different scenarios, and I'll give you a few examples here, it's easy for people to see us in one part of our lives and keep us there 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from those moments in time. And what I mean by that, prime example, you can be in a family of three and you're the younger brother and you have two older sisters and those sisters will always see you as the younger brother, the baby brother that they always have to protect. But one day that young boy will become a young man and he will demand and require the respect that is necessary for him because he's gonna be leading his own household. And that's an example of the older sisters trying to keep the younger brother in that younger brother mode. But we all are growing in life in our own ways and we all have to stretch out and spread our wings to be the person that we're called to be if we live in the limitations of the person that's viewing us we'll never achieve those things we all know that we're more than what's being perceived because we have visions and dreams with inside of us that we want to express and get out into the world if we only lived up to the expectation of what's being perceived a lot of these great inventions and storytellers script writers entertainers athletes etc etc we wouldn't even have these talented individuals another example could be that you've grown up in an environment where your opinion doesn't matter people don't see your comments or statements to be educated or informative and over time in a group setting especially if you're the third wheel it's easy for your statements to get dismissed have you ever been in a situation where it's a group environment and you make a statement or a comment and it's like you didn't say anything at all basically i'm saying the conversation carried on as if you never stated anything whatsoever i've seen this happen a few times and i know for a fact that we all can relate and understand that moment has happened in your life as well it could have happened to you specifically or you could have been a witness to the situation well whatever side you're on of that conversation either speak up for that individual and state that hey this person just stated something and we should acknowledge it or the individual who has stated it needs to keep repeating themselves until those comments are acknowledged and they have been seen from that group setting i tell my mom this all the time that if someone Someone's gonna make me uncomfortable because they're not willing to acknowledge and see me and hear hear my statements we're all gonna be uncomfortable because at the end of the day we're only asking for respect we're only asking to be treated equal this is a life principle here that if someone is showing respect to you and acknowledging your comments and statements making you feel seen and heard you should return that same type of energy to them as well now what's scary about this situation is a lot of people don't have the confidence or the self-esteem to speak up in these moments and i'm encouraging you today to stand up and speak up make your voice be heard and sometimes it's going to get ugly and uncomfortable but as i stated earlier if y'all gonna make me uncomfortable we all gonna be uncomfortable because i'm only asking for respect the same respect that was given to you but see some individuals lack that type of backbone and confidence to put themselves in that type of environment. And it turns into years of pain and suffering and feeling like they're not good enough and capable of being like those others that garner attention just by their mannerisms, um, just by their charisma. And so it's easy for that person to fall in this cycle of saying, I could never be like them. I don't have that type of energy. People don't see me like they see this other person here. And what's unfortunate about that is we're not really getting to know the real individual who's suffering from those environments. If this is our peer and so-called friend or family, whatever the title is for that person, we should be creating a safe space for them to be fully expressive. Now, some of you may be saying, it's not my fault that they don't know how to speak 
up and they don't know how to demand attention. One thing I'm gonna say in response to that is, let's not be prideful and not be willing to accept that that person's pain and trauma is significant to them, that it has put a chokehold on their voice. So my encouragement for you, if you made it this far, is to speak up. You know, I don't want you to keep going through this cycle of conditioning yourself to be less than others when we're all created equal here. So find the courage, find someone who creates a safe space for you where you can really just open up and express these things that you've been remaining silent on for so many years. And some of us has been decades and it really doesn't matter about the age, whether you're 10 or you're 50. You know, your pain is your pain. You wanna be respected as other people get respect and you need to just speak up and state the obvious. Treat me like you treat them, as clear as day. So don't let years of pain and decades of trauma defeat you. Yeah, it's happened to you, but that's in the past. It doesn't have to continue to happen to you. So my encouragement for you today is to break those barriers and get out there and let people know that you have a voice and you have a powerful voice that demands attention and people will be excited to hear and see the real you. When we look at the combination of low self-worth and compromising ourselves. We're subconsciously teaching ourselves to neglect what is right for you. And honestly, there's a few environments where we learn this behavior. Any environment that teaches you to accept less of and not get anything in return, or the value of what's returned is nowhere in comparison to what is given, that's where this behavior is learned. And when you repeat that constantly, you're creating a habit. That habit eventually grows into conditioning. And when you get conditioned to be that way, you've accepted something that's not true to you. So before we give compromise a bad rep, let's just look at the areas where compromising can be effective. So compromising can be effective when both parties reach an agreement that leaves them fulfilled and satisfied. It's a win-win for both parties. However, that's not always the case. So what do you do when you're always on the receiving end that receives less than? Most relationships, if not all, suffer from communication. And if you're in a situation where you feel like you're not receiving what's truly deserving to you, you need to express that in a way that's non-threatening and have an open dialogue to find out where can we overlap with some solutions. However, if you fail to express your perspective, the other party is not going to know what you're going through and why you feel the way you feel. It's the lack of communication that creates these cycles within us and within our relationships with our peers, friends, families, and loved ones that makes us feel as if we're revolving around issues that's been discussed and stated multiple times over but we seem to never have a resolution for those things. So to have a full circle moment here, to have a higher standard of your self-worth, you're no longer allowing yourself to be neglected. You're creating new levels of respect in how you see yourself and how the world will perceive you as well. So let me ask you this question here. Do you deserve to be valued and respected? I'm going to say yes for you, but I'm going to need you to believe that for yourself. You know, now that I think about this, Conditioning even happens in the workforce. Whether you're in sales, you can be in a tech job, you can be a nurse, whatever the case may be. If you're in an environment where it's structured around other individuals rely on you to get your work done for the next phase to be completed, I'm sure you've been in situations where there's someone who dropped the ball and they need you to pick up their paperwork. Granted, you may not even get paid to be doing the work that they're requesting for you to do. Now there's some individuals who fear speaking up and saying no, they're not willing to do so because they want to be perceived as a great employee, a great coworker. But in the event that this is a repeated behavior, we have to look at this as when are they just taking advantage of you? Also, we have to look at when are you gonna have higher self-worth and saying this is not fair that you deserve more respect than this. And in the event when someone tries to tell you that you're being difficult or you're not being the perfect employee, all you have to state to them is, I'm not here to be difficult. All I'm saying is the extra assignment, the extra work that's called for me to do when this person failed to complete it themselves, I don't get paid to do these things. And if you wanted me to do these things, I should be respected enough and compensated for my time because you doing someone else's work, I guarantee you is gonna push you behind in the work that you have to do. But 
Some individuals don't take that path and remain to be silenced. And what does that lead us into? Years of conditioning, constantly taking up for someone else who's not as efficient and productive with their work and their work that's not completed falls into our lap, which means we have to pick up the pieces and put ourselves aside, which means we're neglecting ourselves in this moment to assist someone else who has failed just to meet the expectations of the company and the reasons why they hired them. So when you break these things down to managers, district managers, whoever it is, be clear, I'm not here to create a threatening environment. I'm here to demand respect. And if you're gonna hold me accountable because you expect me to take up the slack for someone else who repeatedly fails to do their job efficiently, I'm gonna hold you accountable in being a true senior manager, marketing manager, whatever your title is, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna hold you accountable to give that person feedback who's constantly disrupting the workflow and the chain of command in this environment that we're trying to have here. Look at all the environments that can lead us to condition ourselves to just say, you know, I'll take one for the team. I'll be a team player today. You can put the extra work on me. You can always rely on me. That's not healthy because that leads into years and years of you neglecting yourself and it leads into other environments like your relationship. You'll always take less from your loved ones, from your friends, because you're used to taking less in other environments so you don't think you deserve more as other individuals do if you made it to this part of the video i hope you receive this with love i hope you receive this with warmth because this is an opportunity for you to break out of chains to break out of barriers that's been holding you back because deep down inside i know there's somebody that's watching and listening right now who really resonates with this who's gone through this who's come out of it who still might be in it. And the biggest thing I need you to realize is that you deserve respect, you deserve equality, you deserve fairness. And use examples in your own life, highlighting what's done to this person is not being done to me. And I'm not here to be difficult. I'm only pointing out the issues of that you're willing to treat this person better than me. In the environments that I try to cultivate, I'm always seeing the things that's broken and saying like, this isn't fair, this isn't right. And I think and know that there's better ways for us in society to operate together, sharing love with each other, sharing acts of kindness, and just pouring more positivity into each other. Sometimes our feedback is necessary to make people have an outwardly focus on how we're actually impacting the world around us. The sooner you address this dynamic in your relationships, the sooner you'll be benefiting from all the changes that you've made within yourself. And that's gonna be a wonderful experience for you to go through, whether you make notes and you journal about it, whether you just document this in some form and showing that you were this person who was shy and timid about expressing your opinions and now you're the person who's respectfully outspoken and speaking up for those who were in your situation, you know, speaking for those who feel like they don't have a voice and um, just champion that position. And if you haven't broke that cycle just yet, don't give up on yourself. It takes time, it takes a lot of space for you to heal and find the strength to pull from, to be in that position of confidence. But just know your day is coming. You know, you have to trust the process and just keep believing in yourself because you do have the capabilities to do this. Just remember, don't allow yourself to be conditioned and accepting things that's less than what you deserve. Equality is essential for us all and I truly believe that and I do believe that the world can function in that space. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's something that's been on my heart and mind these past few weeks and I'm just really glad that I had a chance to sit down and record this with a clear conscience, putting out pure intentions and I hope my words have been received with love and kindness because at the end of the day, I just want all of us to just be in a position where we can thrive and hold space for each other, like I said, and remove us from being self-centered so much and start to balance out with having an outwardly focused mindset. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like below and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Leave some comments down below on your perspective about all this and I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, peace and love. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah.